Let's take a look at how we can use the power of SQL in the free manifold viewer tool to extract information from uh, the new Uber uh, Movement web page. Uh, what is Uber Movement? It's just been uh, just been announced, and Uber very generously has made available, as we can see here, the uh, fantastic resources, the database that they have of their various travel times between locations. Here's an example of the city of Boston, and we've chosen the zone type traffic zones. So to go from here to say this zone, uh, we can see that the average daily average is 19 minutes and 3 seconds. What's very cool about this is that Uber allows you to download the data as a CSV file so you can use it for uh, non-commercial purposes, for example, study and so forth. Now the question is, what kind of instrument are you going to use to do that? You can use Radian Studio, and uh, here's Radian, or you can click on uh, Free here and uh, get the free manifold viewer. Download from here. Just click on that icon to download. And uh, this is what Manifold Viewer looks like. And let's look at the complete process of uh, how do we import that CSV file and how do we uh, display it uh, spatially. We're going to see some very wonderful things here using SQL. So let's uh, start by importing the, the uh, CSV file, import. And this is one that I downloaded earlier from what we just saw there. It's the uh, Traffic Times Analysis Zones. I'm going to click it open, and that generates a table. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that table uh, read-write by uh, adding a, a key field in an index. I'm going to click Edit Schema. Uh, new field, let's use the standard MFD underscore ID. I'm going to do every last step of the way here so that you can repeat this at home so that when you download files from Uber Movement, you can do it from the very beginning, even if you're a complete beginner. Click Add, and now I'm going to create an index on that, a spatial index, MFD ID underscore x. That by tradition, that's what we name things It's uh, in Manifold. It's uh, better than calling them Ralph or Bob or something. And that's going to be a B-tree index, and it's going to be a B-tree index using the MFDID field. Click OK. So now this table is fully read-write. And what we want to work with here is the destination geometry field. And uh, what Uber does is when they download the CS CI CSV file is they give you the destination geometry in what looks suspiciously like uh, WKT, that's well-known text format, but it, it actually isn't quite well-known text format. It has to be massaged to be converted into a lot more well-known text format. And we're going to do that using SQL. First, I'm going to create a receptacle field. It's going to be called a geom, G-E-O-M. That's short for geometry. And we're going to make that of type geom. Great. Now, I want to automatically populate that field. So I'm going to set the field values, and that will open up this uh, dialog that will allow me to compose an expression which will automatically populate that field. And what I want to do is I'm going to take the destination geometry here, and using SQL and functions, I want to convert that into what is a geom field. To do that, I have a comments field here, a comments uh, component, where I have the uh, query already written. And you can download this Uber Movement uh, project from the uh, Manifold website, from the Viewer Downloads page. So you, too, will have this SQL. You won't have to write it. Uh, how to write this SQL is the subject for a, a different video. We're just going to consume it right now. We're just going to use it right now. Somebody else wrote it for us. So we're going to copy that and close that comments field and get back in here in the uh, Transform dialog. And here I'm going to click Paste. And the moment I do that, you can see that uh, Radian Technology Preview is what it's going to create for that geometry field. It's going to take what's the contents that are in this destination geometry, and it's going to do all these string replace functions to convert it into WKT format, well-known text format, and then it's going to make a, geom a geometry out of that. Click Add Field. So we now have a table that has a geometry in it, a geometry field in it. What can we do with that table? We can right-click on that table and choose New Drawing. We're going to create a new drawing based on this table, using the geometry field. I'm going to create a spatial index. The corded system it uses is not pseudo Mercator, and uh, Radian uh, Viewer uh, thoughtfully tells us, uh, indicates that it's probably not right by highlighting that in red. So let's change that to latitude and longitude, because the coordinates you, Uber uses are latitude and longitude. We'll create drawing. Great. Click that open, and we can see that it is indeed a drawing. That's what it looks like in latitude and longitude format. We can do better than that. I've created a map previously here, and um, Let's zoom in here around the Boston area. And let's drag and drop this drawing into the map. And there it is. Uh, now, let's color this field. Let's color this uh, drawing uh, using style. Edit style. 
and we're going to change the fill color so that the fill color is controlled by oh let's say the mean travel time in seconds and we're going to use 10 breaks tally that for the full range and uh, let's use uh, the natural breaks method so let's tally that into uh, 10 bins for the uh, color I'm going to use uh, the color brewer spectral color and uh, I want the uh, higher travel times to be red so I'm going to click reverse great this is now the palette I want to apply to these 10 breaks of the mean travel time in seconds click apply and there are colors that form me so now we can see all the different polygons the travel time polygons uh, in that drawing uh, by uh, the uh, covered by their travel time and I want to point out here that you can do cool things like click on one and get the information for example to that one the main travel time is 499 seconds close to here the main travel time is uh, uh, 1377 seconds and on, on and on. So now you know how to do this. So you can download this incredible data as CSV files from uh, Uber Movement. Very cool that Uber makes this available to researchers anywhere and it's free data. You know, you can't use it for commercial uses, but man oh man can use it for city planning and academics and all these other sorts of things. And now you have a tool. Now, uh, Manifold Viewer is a read only, so you can, just, you can watch it, you can look at it with Manifold Viewer. Uh, it's not going to cost you anything. There's no strings attached, there's no nagware, it doesn't time out or anything like that. If you want to uh, actually work with this stuff in uh, read write manner, well, for that, you know, you need Radiant Studio. And uh, there's a zillion facilities in Radiant Studio. Radiant Studio is very inexpensive. So uh, to actually work with this data, as we've seen here, and to manipulate it in all sorts of other wonderful ways, get Radiant Studio and you'll enjoy. So thanks very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Enjoy Uber Movement data, and goodbye from Radiant Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.